In this video, we'll wrap text around a cylinder. First, let's create the cylinder. Before we go further, I'd like to sketch a circle with this as the center because it will help us later. So I'm going to click on Sketch, Create, click on that picture plane, Circle, and then I need to find the center. And I have a center that popped up when I hovered the mouse over the approximate center. So I'll click, and then I'll click on the edge. So I have a sketch there. Now what I'm going to do is sketch some text on a plane right in front of the cylinder. And I'll make it 20 millimeters tall. I'll select it, right click, choose press pull. Let's see where the text is. It, is. it is in front of the cylinder, so I'm going to press pull it back, select new body, and then here I'll choose from object and select the object and say OK. And that didn't work out so well. I didn't have the text positioned well. So let's try this again. I'm going to move the text forward Okay, and let's try this again. Select, press pull, move it through the cylinder, and select new body. That looks like it'll work better. Choose from object. Select the object and choose OK. And that worked. We'll get rid of that in a bit. But what I'm going to do now is hold the Shift key down and select all these so that I can extrude them forward. I could also extrude them back if I wanted, but I'm going to extrude them forward so that the wraparound is more obvious. Now, how to get rid of this? Well, I drew this sketch here so I'm going to select it, choose Press Pull, Cut, bring it up, and hit OK. And it will cut all that off. So now I have a nice item I can 3D print as a koozie or some sort of can holder and 
And there you have it.